everybody, it's Kira and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my June haul for you guys. And really quickly, I have a quick unhaul type thing. I just wanted to let you guys know that I will ge be getting rid of my set collection thing of the Laura Ingalls Wilder books. And I have almost all of them here. But as you can see, they are not matching editions, all of them. and. I don't really want them on my shelf, honestly, because I'm probably not going to reread them, like, until I have kids and want my kids to read them in the future. So I'm just going to give them to my mom and have them on her bookshelf because they take up a lot of space on my bookshelf and I just don't have the room for that. Okay, but now we'll get to the books that I actually ended up buying in the month of June. And there's not a lot, which is good, but there's some really good books in here, so I'm excited to share them with you. So these first two I ended up getting at Savers, I think, because I was there, I don't, I think I was there dropping off some of my clothes that I wanted to donate and stuff, and I looked through their book selection, and I actually found these ones, which I'm really excited about. So the first book that I bought in the month of June is This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl with Lori and Wayne Earl. This is the story of Esther Earl, who was a girl who had cancer, and kind of helped inspire John Green finished writing The Fault in Our Stars, and she had a lot to do with the organization and continuation of the Project for Awesome. I did read this, so you can hear my thoughts in my June wrap-up, and it was just really nice. This has been on my TBR for forever, and so I was glad I could finally read it, but it was it's a really good book to have and to own, and I'm just really happy that I found it for really, really cheap. And the other book I bought is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the movie tie-in edition with like this kind of spine. And I have the first one and now I have the third one so I'm just missing two towers from this edition. And I actually, yeah, didn't own my own copies of Lord of the Rings. And I'm actually taking a Tolkien class this semester so I'm really excited. So I will probably need these for school. But I'm just happy that I own them and I will probably reread them if I don't read the full books for my class and I'll definitely reread them like sometime in the future. So next up are three books that are all in the same series that I didn't realize I'd gotten the entire thing until I went to do this video and that is An Ember in the Ashes. I got all three books this month. Like I don't know why or how that happened but it happened. Um, so we'll just go in order of first to last. I got the new paperback cover of An Ember in the Ashes. This was kindly sent to me from Carol over at Bookish Notes on Twitter. She was looking to get rid of a couple of her books and I saw that she had An Ember in the Ashes and I was like, is this still available? And she's like, sure, do you want it? And I'm like, yes, please. So I have this copy and I'm probably, if people want to read this, like if one of my friends in real life wants to read this, I will lend them this copy so I can keep my copy that I have like bookmarked and stuff. Um, so I can keep that copy for myself and now I have a copy to share. Plus I really wanted these new covers anyways so I got this one to share. And then I picked up A Torch Against the Night which is the second book and this is the old cover but I found it while we were on vacation actually. We stopped at a Goodwill because my mom had forgotten pants and so we stopped at a Goodwill and this was on sale for two dollars which is insane like what? So and it's a hardback like and it's in good condition too which is really important. So I got this. This copy I can also lend out and share to people if I want if people want to read it. Um, and so yeah now I have two copies of this book as well. And the most exciting Ember book is A Reaper at the Gates. This is the third book. It just came out this past month and I read it and wow it was amazing. You can see my reactions as I'm reading it in my Cramathon vlog, otherwise I will be talking about it in my wrap-up as well. But it was amazing and I loved it a lot. And yes, I'm so excited. It is in my hands. I have it. And I need the fourth book now. But I mean, who knows when that will come. But yeah, I need it now, please. Um, but I'm just super excited to have this one and to own it now. And the last three books are actually books that are pretty unique and that I haven't read yet. So family just came back from vacation a little while ago and one of the places we went was the life-size arc experience in somewhere in Kentucky. I don't remember where exactly. And so there are these people who run the Creation Museum that decided they were going to build a life-size arc and make it kind of a walk-through experience. And it was so amazing. Like it was huge and just really cool and they had cages where they had like animatronic animals 
But the animals weren't the kind of things you would see now because, I mean, it happened thousands of years ago, and so the animals looked more like ancestors of the animals we have now, which is probably what they would have been like. And it was just super amazing. But while I was there, I ended up getting a cop, a box set of these three books about the life of Noah, kind of as a fictionalized story, kind of his thoughts, because, like, the Bible is not a story as we think of it, so it doesn't have a lot of detail and stuff. So this is called The Remnant Trilogy by Tim Ch Chaffee and K. Marie Adams, and it includes Man of Destiny, Man of Resolve, and Man of God. And so these are the three books, and I haven't read them yet, but I'm excited to get to read them. And I, it was just such a cool experience, and this was like the big thing that I bought that trip to, because it was kind of expensive. But I'm super excited to read it, just because I love, like the story of Noah is one that we kind of think of as like a kid's story, but if you think about it, it's really not. And yeah, I'm just excited to dive into these books at some point. So there you have it. That is my June haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, all my links are in the description. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!